In this tutorial, I'd like to cover the use of the Natris Levels and Curves effect on red footage in Final Cut Pro 10. I have some clips on my timeline. They were shot on a red camera and transcoded to ProRes 422 for editing in Final Cut Pro 10. Red cameras capture RAW. These clips were exported in red log film so as to retain the dynamic range of the original format. Red log film adheres to the Cineon film log spec so it's easily gradable. Log clips appear very low contrast in Final Cut Pro 10. Whether you're finishing your timeline in Final Cut Pro 10 or doing further color grading in another application, you or your client will probably not find the flatness of these clips very visually appealing. Final Cut is not expecting log footage, it's expecting video encoded footage. The Natris Curves effect has a built-in log to video feature that will make this log clip appear correctly in the viewer and allow me to do some color correction. For log mode, I'll choose log to video, then curves. And the log to video curve will stay set to log Cineon to video. There are other settings. Log A is for low contrast footage, such as the Arri Alexa when it's using their log C setting. Log B is for Canon log or Sony log which tend to be video log hybrids rather than pure log. I'll create my S-curve to improve the contrast of this shot while keeping an eye on my waveform monitor. No matter which color space your camera operates in, Natris Levels and Curves operates in the film log color space, which allows you precise control over where in the tonal range the curves affect the image, and a wide dynamic range for processing. It's part of the behind-the-scenes magic on why the curves look as good as they do. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great plugins, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.